What's up everybody, I'm Sharky. I'm Jess. We are Sharky's Paradise. Welcome to our weekly recap. We are going to talk a little bit about the tattoos that I did this week. I did get to work on some pretty cool and exciting pieces, one of which was a friend of ours, Erica Duran's leg piece. It is really unique because there is an opportunity to cross from one leg to the other. We're doing a cherry blossom tree coming from the foot on the right leg up and swirling around and the bloom, the top of the foliage is expanding to both legs. The initial steps that we took were to draw on with a uh, brush and markers the general shape of the tree uh, we added a few details this week uh, we expanded on to the left leg where we're gonna be putting the flower foliage for the cherry blossom tree we're gonna be using full color on this so it's gonna be very bright lots of stuff I personally like to set these designs up by doing all of my dark structural skeletal tones of everything first. So I have basically a roadmap to paint by numbers as we move on in sessions. And then we also added a few little details like her parents' initials carved into the trunk of the tree. We also added a cool little koi, like swimming in the, you know, the water that it's gonna be growing out of. I'm super excited we were able to hit all of the painless points on a leg on this tattoo during the session. We did the foot, the back of the knee, the front of the knee, inside of the knee, and all those other places that don't really hurt. So come get those tattooed. Hey guys, I'm Jess. Welcome to the shop of Sharky's Paradise. I wear a lot of hats within the shop. I do all the supply ordering, all the inventory, I run the payroll. I also do permanent makeup, piercings, and tattoos within the shop. So I specialize in a lot of fine line tattoos, minimal, simple tattoos. One of the tattoos that I did with Susan, a little bit more in depth, Susan moved to Colorado quite some years ago and she's done a lot of hiking. Came in and she's gotten a bird before with some landlines on it that she drew up. She's also came to me for some peonies and this time we did a nice branch on her arm from about here to here. And she drew this custom little butterfly with a maple leaf. Really, really cool, the touch base on it. I really enjoyed that tattoo. I like doing the fine line with some color in it. Really fun. What's up? I'm Santi, also known as Inked by Bonte on Instagram. This week I did a few different tattoos, a lot of traditional tattoos coming in for me. We did a Grim Reaper with him on vacation, so he's wearing like a little floral shirt, drinking his little beer, you know, doing his own thing. So it says see you later instead of see you soon or anything since he's on a break. So we did that one, that one was a lot of fun, a lot of just grayscale with that one, it was really cool. I did a lot of grayscale with the picnic basket this week as well. She really liked the simple dotted work that we did on a previous tattoo of hers, so we wanted to kind of capture that with this one, eventually add to it and add more to the picnic scene. My name is Devin. I go by Slater Inks on Instagram. This week I had a really fun week. We got to do a lot of walk-ins. So the first one we did this week was the little Libra symbol behind this girl's ear. She wanted just the plain old Libra symbol, nothing special, but I figured we'd try to flare it up a little bit. So she let me add some sparkles to it, which made it a, a cuter piece in general. And then after that, we did a little simple sun and moon design on another girl's back. That one was super fun. I really like those little simplistic designs. Very straightforward to the point. Just take a nine bug pin through the whole thing and that's pretty much it. You get one shot. After that, I had a friend I know from high school. Um, she came in and she got the Sasuke, Sasuke curse mark on her shoulder with it spreading down a little bit. That one was super fun. I like how bold it looked. It was really fun to do. It's super easy to get that stuff done quickly, but it looks like it took a lot of effort, which is cool. I like how that looks. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, that's 
those are burpees right there. That's ten of them. Give them to me. No. Give them to me. Can I do you ten can... jumps? <laughs> this is a negotiation. This is ten burpees. You just attempted to, to choke me out in the middle of my shop. Now, folks, take notes. That's how you get it. That's how you get your kids to do burpees. Hey, I'm Eric. I'm over here at Sharky's Paradise, also known as E-Rock. You can also follow me at E-Rock's Artwork on Instagram. I've been over here at Sharky's Paradise for about five and a half, six months now. Went through an apprenticeship, just recently made artist. This week was a pretty fun week. We had three interesting little tattoos. Uh, we did a dude's initials with a fleur de lis on the bottom. We had to reorient it. If you want it sideways, unfortunately going on the neck, it's gonna orient better following the muscle tone of the body. So we got it stacked in line. It was pretty easy stencil on. I just oriented it behind the ear right here, accentuated down the neck. You just throw it in there, a seven round liner, smack the inside with a 11 mag and it turned out to be a fun little piece. Uh, the arrows on the ribs was a super fun tattoo as well. It was a mother of three. She wanted uh, three arrows representing her children on her ribs. And so we used a seven round liner and then an 11 mag to show that the curvature of the arrow once those grays settle down and brush out, I think it's gonna give it a nice curve to those uh, arrow shafts. Quick banger tattoo, but well, we got a nice little design on it. I love tattoos like this when they come through the shop because it really gives me a chance to focus on my fundamentals and go back to the original line work and make sure that everything from stage one on is still progressing in the way that I need it to go. We got to do this guy's hand tattoo. It was super fun. He has a kind of a geometric um, nature sleeve going on on one arm, and then on the other arm, he has a party arm, he called it. And so he kind of wanted to carry that down and just finish out his hand. He has this big monster truck right in the middle of it, which was really funny to see. Then in the middle of his hand, so on his fingers, we decided to do a bunch of different, like, neo traditional type stuff. We did a uh, little French press and a coffee mug on his pinky, and then we had a candlestick on his finger, and then a UFO picking up a cow right here. But otherwise, it was it was a super fun tattoo uh, to do. It took a lot of brainstorming, but we knocked it out pretty quick and it was really fun. The guy was super nice. All around, it was a very cool experience just to be able to do like a bunch of random stuff. No really rhyme or reason to any of it, but it was really fun. All right, so let's talk about some of the jewelry that we sell here at Sharky's Paradise. My most favorite is the titanium. Titanium is nickel-free, iron-free, hypoallergenic, corrosion-resistant, lightweight. It's a very rare metal. It's actually stronger than gold and steel itself. It's also stronger than silver. Different types of titanium that we have. We have internally threaded, threadless. Threadless posts are my favorite. They're the most modern type. Other types of jewelry that we sell is 14 karat gold, white gold, and yellow gold. We have lots of gauge selections, different shapes and sizes, and we also have a very small selection of surgical steel. With piercings, I can pretty much do any piercing that you want. I have a lot of kids at home, so I try to get out of here by five o'clock and come in after hours to do some piercings. One of the popular piercings I get that's really unique is right above the gums, it's called the smiley piercing. Super awesome, really easy, doesn't hurt. Some of the other piercings I did this week, I did a dermal right above the collarbone. This was a really fun one. I did some belly piercings, we call them navel piercings in the shop. Probably did some nose piercings, tongue piercing. The tongue piercing doesn't hurt. I have a lot of questions about the tongue piercing. It's a really fun one to do. So the youngest that you can come in to get an ear piercing is three months old. All you need is a copy of the birth certificate and your parents' ID, they must be matching. I get earlobe piercings come in all the time, lots of requests for that. Obviously some parents trust me with those. <laughs> I do have four kids myself and they all love piercings. It's important, that's okay, so that's go ahead and just, you can rest your head back. It's great. Oh, beautiful. You did great. It makes everybody cross <laughs> <laughs>